Ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between and beyond, welcome to the seventh episode of Tamten Zoo. So in today's episode we are not building anything big, it's quite a simple and a small build to be honest because I had something else planned for this episode but unfortunately it didn't go as planned. I spent like 3 or 4 days building this one thing, I'm not going to spoil it because I'm planning to build it at some point in the series so I'm not going to tell you what I was trying to build. But as I said I spent like 3 or 4 days trying to build this one thing and after all this time it wasn't even like 50% ready. I had basic layout and I knew that I'm not going to make it in time and I didn't want to have the same situation as for last episode which I had to postpone the whole episode. So I decided that I want to build something that I had in mind for quite a long time and it's not a big build, it's quite simple and small but there's a bit of a story with this habitat more like a real one in real life, the one that I'm taking inspiration from for this episode. So as you know from the title already, we are building a habitat for bears and for these two habitats because they will be cut in half, uh, so we have two sides, they will be a home for Formosan black bears and Himalayan brown bears. And as I said, there's some story about the inspiration. So as I said in previous episodes, probably I'm from Poland. I've been to few zoos in Poland and there's one in particular that I didn't really enjoy at all, which is the one in Warsaw, which is quite weird because it's a capital city, but well, sometimes that's, that's the case. But well, and the reason for that is that a lot of these animals I'm not saying, you know, that it's... I'm not trying to be shady or something because, you know, of course I don't know everything. I'm not a zoologist, I don't know everything that is, you know, required for the zoos to have, blah blah blah, you know, maybe they can keep these animals like that, but unfortunately, um, I kind of wanted to create this habitat because I like the idea of the habitat, which is a lot of concrete, etc. The actual habitat in real life has way more concrete. Uh, mine only has concrete that is just in water and on the sides as walls. But the actual one is mainly made of concrete, which of course it's, it's a bit weird, but it kind of looks cool. <laughs> I wouldn't put animals there, but it's just a cool idea for building. I don't know. I just like to look at it, not as a habitat for animal, but just a building, the idea. And the problem with that habitat is that it's about 500 meters square, the real one. So it's quite, it's quite a small one, you know, like not many animals can be there, can live there. And the weirdest thing is that the actual one that is in Warsaw is a home for two polar bears, which I don't know if you know, like if you play Planet Zoo, if you are interested in most animals, like I, I don't know, I think polar bears are quite popular animals just in, in the world. So if you know anything about polar bears, they need a lot of area, a lot of territory, a lot of land for them to just exist because they just, they are just extremely active animals. And as far as I know, the actual habitat like requirements for zoos in real life not i'm not talking about planet zoo because in planet zoo i think it's about 300 meters square or something like that and 
on top of that you have to have water area for them to swim so it's a huge part of land and in real life I think it's 1800 something like that so smaller but still it's it's huge you know and that's for I think a single polar bear uh, I'm not sure how you know how the measurement change once you add more polar bears but nonetheless still one polar bear needs about 2000 meters square two kilometers square which is a lot and here in Warsaw they have about 500 meters square for both polar bears so it's like 250 meters square per one polar bear they have some water area for them to swim which again is not big at all and I'm not sure how it works how they are able to just keep them uh, because there are a lot of um, organizations that are trying to get them out of there because it's it's not good for them it doesn't meet the requirements for them to keep them there and I don't know how it works that they are able to keep them there but you know it's weird and there's also one story about bears so just in general Warsaw Zoo and bears do not go together <laughs> I don't know what it is about that but like the mix of bears and Warsaw Zoo is not a good mix so besides the polar bears being there and not having enough space for them there was this one story I think it was European brown bear I think we don't have them in Planet Zoo but that's why I added Himalayan brown bears because we don't have European ones so you know we are we're just gonna like act as if <laughs> it was the European one but the story is quite shocking and I've learned about it like a couple of months ago I was just you know checking out stuff and I even went to Warsaw Zoo before I knew that and I was completely like surprised that there was this one habitat outside of zoo like literally next to the main not main road but like an busy road that is outside the zoo you know so you have the zoo and then you have some like park area and then you have like a main road so this one habitat is in this park area which is completely outside of the zoo and I'm not sure how it worked before but I know that they had I think European brown birds there and I'm not sure how they even managed to do that because I think it's completely irresponsible and dangerous for these animals to just be like literally in the middle of the freaking town like capital city like Corso is huge and of course as I said it was extremely dangerous and of course something had to happen and there is the story if, if you google like drunk man attacks a bear Warsaw Zoo or something like that you will get these articles uh, all over the Google um, but the basic story is that there was just this man that somehow managed to go inside the habitat like fell into the habitat and this bear was uh, from the circus so it wasn't scared of anim uh, animals, not animals, humans and she didn't attack him but he attacked the bear I don't know why, I think, I don't know, maybe he like freaked out and decided that well it was either him or the bear uh, so he started attacking it and the bear attacked him of course uh, then they, then he somehow managed to get in the water I think he was trying to like run away from the bear and the bear went after him and they both got into the water and he started to drown in the bear fortunately nothing happened to the bear just only like mental me mentally it was it was quite shocked and um, I think it, like they had to do some like behavioral stuff with them the man I think was only fined I was like what the hell <laughs> like how are you able to just go inside the habitat attack an animal and be like well okay just pay us some money and you're fine like what the hell why is word like that I don't know but well and I don't know what happened with this birds after that I think they just relocated them but yeah now this habitat that is outside the zoo is completely empty it's just there because now it's fine if they I don't know if there is one but I would love if there was like a sculpture of a bird for just you know just sort of like some piece of a history or something that would be cool you're just in the park there's like this old habitat that nothing is in there and there's like a sculpture of a bird that would be cool I would love to see that like some kind of like a statue memorial or something that would be cool if they did that 
but well, I don't think they're gonna do it. So yeah, Warsaw is not really good with Burst. I don't know what it is uh, with Warsaw and Burst. I hope that someone manages to get these Polar Bursts out of there because it's not good for them. As I said, I was there once and I'm probably not ever going to go there again because I just didn't like the zoo at all. It was just this, you know, some zoos, of course, like all of the zoos are specific and a lot of people don't go to zoos because, you know, these animals shouldn't be there and I completely agree. But, you know, that's how I fell in love with most animals because I was able to just see them. And on one hand, I'm like, well, these animals shouldn't be there, but the only thing I agree with is if people have like sanctuaries or something and these animals are not able to just exist in the wild, then these kind of organizations and places for me are completely fine because otherwise these animals would just die in the wild because they're not able to just exist. So back to our build, as you can see, I built this whole thing and it's gonna be divided into two separate habitats. And to be honest, uh, maybe I, I didn't want to go with the theme of not having enough room to house a specific species, <laughs> that, that wasn't the point. But to be honest, these habitats are not big enough for these animals and I don't have the requirements turned on because I'm on a sandbox and to be honest if I did have them turned on I would struggle with a lot of scenery because these animals don't enjoy if you have too much plants etc and to be honest if you want to go for this like realistic look we have to have a lot of plants so unfortunately I have this turned off I checked and it's about 200 meters square too small for them which I don't think that's gonna be a huge issue we just have two bears in both of these uh, habitats so you know there's not like hundreds of them like with lemurs I'm not I'm completely not sure if the lemurs have enough space for them as I said they have the requirements turned off but I have no way of knowing I would have to turn them on and I don't want to do that but yeah as I said with this bears they are just their own, pre pretty much on their own. They have just like another bear with them. I didn't want it to be like a theme that, oh, the, the actual one doesn't have enough space for them. So I'm going to make one in the game that doesn't have enough space for them. That wasn't the vibe, that wasn't the idea. It just turned out to be like that because I checked the, the whole thing before I built it and it had like 1,000 800 meters something like that uh, like almost two kilometers uh, square uh, so it will be enough for them but I guess with all of these you know plants and walls and everything the area that ended up being the actual area that they can walk on and etc ended up not being enough for them I guess but as I said I have it turned off so they don't really care about that <laughs> and well unfortunately that's kind of realistic I'm not trying to you know make excuses but to be honest a lot of these habitats in real life don't have enough space for these animals so they kind of made it even more realistic even though that shouldn't shouldn't be a thing but as I said I don't think that they, they mine it that much they have a lot of enrichment and places they can hide etc they have roof under their head if they want to hide or something so I hope they completely fine
I also decided to add like a small toilet building, whatever, for our visitors, for our guests, because it's quite far from the entrance and as you can see it's like next to the river which is the end of our zoo and I didn't want to place the bears next to the main road so I decided to just put them somewhere, somewhere in the back maybe we will relocate them at some point because I'm not sure if that place is even like a good one for them I think it, it would still be quite loud and busy there I don't know if that would be quite stressful for them to just be there but we'll see um, maybe at some point we will find a better place for them we can always just you know move this whole thing that's not a problem so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and i hope you guys well like the story even though it's not a positive happy story unfortunately but yeah um i hope these birds are doing well even though they don't have enough space but i hope they are just happy birds <laughs> and i hope you guys like the habitat and everything that i've done in this episode and i will see you in the next one bye